I am constantly on the lookout for ways to make my work more comfortable, easier, and more fun. Eight years into farming, I have wasted so much time, money, and effort doing things the wrong way so that you don't have to. Here are my top 15 ways for you to hack your homestead. Number 15 is the broad fork. If you've never seen one of these before, this is one of the easiest ways to break up hard soil. We can put our full weight on it, and then in leaning back, we're able to break it up. Number 14 is a propane weed torch. This thing packs a serious punch when it comes to lighting bonfires, organic weed control, roasting a marshmallow when you're in a hurry, or preheating your oven. Number 13 is quick change water hydrants. This is a handy dandy little system that allows me to go from water hydrant to hose in a matter of seconds. When you're done using it, it automatically blows all the water out of the lines, instantly winterizing it and no more broken pipes in the winter. Number 12 is expanding hoses. These lightweight expandable ho hoses are a huge help around the homestead, especially when it comes to moving cows and dragging water troughs. Every single pound when you're walking across 15 acres really counts. <laughs> These things expand and fill while you're using them and then empty up and compress when you're not. They also really don't kink or get tangled because again, when they're empty, they're really, really small. Number 11 is an expandable fruit picker with a soft catch basket. I know the camera adds 10 feet, so people are usually very surprised to find out that I am, as my husband calls it, vertically challenged, but this thing is great when it comes to reaching tall items without having to get a ladder. Even if you don't have a homestead yet, you city folk could make great use of a fruit picker like this because a lot of states have a legal rule that says if edible items are leaning over a fence onto public land, they are free to pick and use for the public. Of course, it's always best to ask the owner of the tree if it's okay to pick their fruit. As a kid, when I lived in Hawaii, I took advantage of this rule constantly with the neighbor's mango tree, and I would sit on the porch with my fruit picker, literally grabbing and eating to my heart's content. Number 10 is a compost thermometer. Because life on the farm is so busy, I try to put things that need regular attendance in my way as much as possible. I walk past this compost pile multiple times a day and having a visual indicator of how the compost is doing and what needs to get done next helps remind me to do what I need to do when I need to do it. I love watching this thermometer and trying to keep my pile as active as possible so that I can get compost quicker and quicker and quicker every time. Number nine is a good garden hoe. This is far and away my most used tool in the garden. Every gardener needs a good hoe, especially when your garden has gotten unruly like mine has. It's great for cleaning up weeds, moving soil, and putting in new rows. You can use the corner of the hoe to make a row for your seeds, or you can use the broad part of the hoe to move soil. Number eight, and definitely one of my favorites on the list, is using a floor sweeper as a pooper scooper. This does wonders for saving your back and not having to bend over, and also keeping your nose as far as it physically can be from the delightful aromas of this job. This is a great tool for shaping our garden beds, for getting rid of weeds, and cleaning up after we've used our broad fork. Number seven is these old-fashioned bushel baskets. These are a great option for picking, transporting, and storing crops that tend to be a little heavier and want to be stored for a long time. So when I'm picking all of my squash or my melons and I need to move them a long distance, picking these things an armload at a time is not super efficient. But bringing a whole basket and then putting it aside to store for a long period of time is a great option. The next five items on this list are total game changers, so make sure you stick around to see those. But if you're looking for more information or direct links to any of the products that I've talked about so far in this video, head on over to my Squarespace website, anofalltrades.com, and check out my blog. 
I've been using Squarespace to share the things that I've been learning with the world for the last eight years. It is a fantastic resource for people like me who are busy and also not super tech savvy to be able to quickly and easily drag and drop whatever we want to put out there into a beautiful artist design template. If you're like me and you need a website that can kind of just do everything for you, like host your blog and your online store and your online scheduling, check out Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Anne of All Trades for a 10% discount. I thought number six was a total gimmick when I first saw it, but it was so ridiculous that I kind of just had to try it. And I'm so glad that I did because this speed planter has saved me so much time and so much backache when it comes to transplanting seed trays into the garden. Let's take a look at this thing in action. When I first started using it, I realized I needed to make a sort of front backpack to hold all of my transplants. Then I would take the planter, plop it down into the ground, grab a seed start, put it in the top, open the tines, and as the tines open, they're spreading out the soil around the plant, so loosening it, and also depositing that little start directly in the soil where it needs to go. A job that used to have me down on my hands and knees with a trowel for 45 minutes to an hour, now it takes me about five minutes. Number five is a two-way automatic closing gate latch. Dolly move. It's thankfully goat proof, dog proof, donkey proof, and as it turns out, city folk proof as well. Number four on the list is zip ties. These are a very handy tool to keep around at all times because you never know when you're going to suddenly need to fix a fence. Rip. Ta da! Lucy, see what you did over here? We should probably put one right here as well because Lucy's found a hole. And for quick harness solutions, when one end gets chewed off, we've got a quick fix handy. Rip. I'm constantly using these things all over the farm to fix vehicles, to attach things to their friends that always seem to leave them. You can use them to quickly lock gates and pig-proof your barn. Number three is a good harvest basket. What makes a good harvest basket, you may ask? I'm so glad you did. First, it needs to be comfortable to carry. Second, it needs to have mesh or holes so that you can rinse off your produce before you take it inside. Because if you don't do that, you end up bringing a whole bunch of farm gunk and critters inside the house. Yuck. The other thing that is crucial is that the holes are not so big that you lose your produce through them. This is problematic because we don't want to be losing any of our little baby okras as we're running through the garden. Number two is plastic storage bins. These things are so useful around the farm because if you haven't noticed, farming kind of takes a lot of stuff. I have built this little thing to be a handy dandy by animal feed storage and delivery system. This makes it really easy when I have farm sitters because each one is labeled, but because we just moved the farm across the country, we happen to have a whole lot of them. So to have sturdy, strong, stackable stuff that is mostly rodent resistant is a huge plus around the farm. I've used these storage totes for all kinds of things from feed storage to tractor part storage to compost screening. As I take shovel fulls of this compost and put it through the screen, it's going to screen out any big pieces of material that are still left. Number one, my favorite of all the homestead hacks is this solar powered automatic chicken coop door. This thing has truly changed my chicken keeping life by giving me the freedom to basically forget that my chickens even exist, which is great because chickens suck. This thing has completely freed me from my dawn and dusk chicken chores while also making sure that my birds are completely safe from predators. By the way, this automatic door is attached to a mobile chicken coop that basically makes all of my chicken keeping completely automatic. Self-cleaning, self-watering, self-feeding, self-egg collecting. If you wanna see that video, go check it out now. I'll see you there.